Hi everyone and welcome to a new LifeFX tutorial. In this video we're going over the integration of notch blocks in LifeFX Studio and how to use 3D notch block environments in virtual production workflows. Note that for notch blocks to work inside LifeFX you need a notch playback license which can be obtained from the notch website. Let's start and enter into an empty project. Make sure you have the LifeFX toolset selected down here. Click the Live Setup button to configure the live composition. At the very top, let's select Notch, Back and Front Plate. With this option, LifeFX expects the notch block that you're using to output a side-by-side -side image based on the foreground and background that you created in the notch block. This is an option inside Notch Builder. This then allows us to easily place the object, filmed in front of green, right into the scene between fore and background layers. We're capturing the live camera using a Decklink 8K Pro card. So let's select that for our input and also select the notch block to use. As we have already calibrated our virtual camera, we can choose a pre-saved camera profile right away and not need to calibrate the 28mm Sony lens again. Our tracking device in this tutorial is a simple Intel RealSense tracker. Hit create and jump right into the player, looking at the initial setup. As you can see, the layer stack is already set up with the notch block being loaded onto front and backplate layer and the live capture layer right in between, feeding the live camera signal. Using the node tree in the right side stack, you can also navigate between nodes and layers. In case you do not see any layers, check the layers in schematic setting inside the gear menu to display them. One thing to note about the node tree is that the notch block node that is showing twice as input for the fore and background layer is effectively the same node. Navigating to one and changing its settings or grade will also change the settings for the other one. The difference is with the layers that have a different offset setting to show either the left or the right side of the side by side output. Now the first thing to do is to refine our key. To do that, select the live capture layer and go to the qualifier menu. We can now simply pick the color in the viewport or use control drag to pull up a rectangle and sample a bigger area to adjust the chroma key. Nice, now that our key delivers a usable result, let's adjust the virtual camera position of the notch block. To do so, we need to open the camera calibration panel. You can do this from either the LifeFX menu or from the camera menu. Make sure you are in the position tab and point the camera at the Aruko marker on the floor. As soon as you hit the camera position button, LifeFX aligns the Aruko marker with the origin of the virtual scene. For more info on virtual camera calibration, check out our video tutorial dedicated to this topic. Note that spending sufficient time on calibration will further diminish sliding and drifting of the background and foreground image. Let's do a quick test to see if our scene generally works. As you can see, the 3D text here is part of the front plate and hence shows in front of our chart, which is on the live capture layer. To adjust the settings of the notch block, simply select either one of the back or front plate layers and go to the notch block menu. As you can see, we have used shot camera enabled, which means that the camera of the notch block is being remote controlled by the virtual camera inside LifeFX, which again gets its data from the camera tracker. We can however still use the notch block camera controls to offset the notch camera from our physical camera in terms of position and rotation. Once done, we can start to record some clips using the record button in the main toolbar. Currently we're recording to Apple ProRes, but using the record tab you can also choose to record to H.264 and DNX MXF. Let's do a quick pan around the scene and then stop recording by pressing the record button again. As a side note, depending on the camera and video I.O. used, LifeFX can also auto-record based on the STI record trigger sent by the camera. Once we stop recording, the just recorded clip shows up in the version stack ready for instant review. That's it for this video. Don't forget to watch our other videos on notch block integration in post where we go over animating notch blocks in a finishing context, notch QC and also color accurate notch LC encoding in scratch. See you there. Bye.